Hey, good morning. This is Ogle's Fish Room. I am going to try my darndest to make this a short video. I keep saying that and haven't accomplished it too much so far, but I'm going to do what I can. Anyway, this is my little two and a half over here. Uh, close to the door of my room here. Anyway, I've kind of moved things around a teeny bit. Not a whole lot, but I did add a lot of plants. This is Valisinaria. Uh, this is a short one. But I got it for half price. <laughs> so when, And it's a small tank. So I went ahead and bought that. Uh, there's two more in the back that are not short. They are very long and hitting the surface of the... Now what I did here, this used to have the... Uh... Let me try to hold this little stiller here. I did put some shrimp in from other tanks last night for uh, to help with the cleanup crew. Now, it's basically the Bumblebee Gobi tank now. It has eight little gobies. And they are so small. I mean, that's why well, I don't want to put them in a bigger tank. I mean, number one, they just don't move much. And number two, you hardly tell they're in here. So, uh, I mean, really. So if they were in a bigger tank, you wouldn't know they were there at all. Because I have had them in bigger tanks before. Anyway, I decided to do this, just keep them in a species-only tank. I took out the three uh, sparkling grommies that were very small, and also uh, three of the uh, uh, emerald rasboras that were also very small. Uh, I put them over in the tank to my left, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and I was... A little hesitant about that and thought long and hard about it because I was afraid they were so small they might get eaten or chased or something and they seem to be just doing fantastic I'm extremely impressed with them uh, how well they've adapted to that and I'll show you them in just a second anyway this is the the two and a half I clean it took the wood out scrubbed it good I when I took the fish out uh, I just kind of redid this a little bit and cleaned it real good and all that kind of stuff uh, anyway, it's got uh, about shrimp, uh, six shrimp in it. Uh, I know he looks huge, but actually he's only about an inch long. Uh, I'll back up. This is a two and a half. Okay, we're going over to the, uh, let me back up on that. This is the newest tank, which is a, uh, I dug out of the trash dumpster. <laughs> anyway, uh, my friends at, uh, Pet Supermarket, said that somebody had dropped it off in the back of their store. None of them wanted it because uh, it was in the dumpster. But uh, anyway, uh, I dug it out, uh, cleaned it up. It was a mess. Uh, but it, And then let it sit outside my house for several days filled with water, and it did not leak a drop. So with all the tussling I had to do with it uh, to get it out of that dumpster, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. So I'll leave it at that. Anyway, I am tickled pink with it. Uh, I did I did not have room for it. So I moved the 15 high that was here, which is 20 inches long. This is 24 inches from side to side. And what I did, I put it on the same stand as the... Uh, well, I'd say about 12, 13 gallons down there. Because it's definitely higher than a 10 gallon. Anyway, let me back up here. Anyway, this is on a stand, and the stand was only 20 inches wide. I simply went to uh, Home Depot. I Lowe's is actually, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm hesitating in my mind to telling the story, but I kind of think it's appropriate for those of you that have to ever do this. Uh, I was looking around for a already cut piece of 12 by 24 inch wood which is the base of this tank and when I went to Lowe's they wanted uh, like twenty two dollars for it I'm like okay so I checked around found this for ten dollars at Home Depot but it's in Orange City which is a little bit away from me but not not ridiculously far uh, so I went down there called first had them put one aside for me went down there and picked it up like I said, it was $10 and change. Uh, it's actually quite nice. It's made by Rubbermaid. It is uh, 12 by 24. It is designed, what it's designed for, is, or pre-cut for, is a bookshelf. And it's covered in black laminate. Uh, 
and it looks great. Uh, and it's the perfect size. Yes, it laps over. I'm trying to show you that there. Laps over a little bit on the sides, but not much, like an inch and a half. And that's the purpose of the board, to support the aquarium, uh, you know, leaning out an inch and a half over the stand is certainly not going to hurt anything. So anyway, as long as the tank is supported, you don't want to put a 24-inch tank on a 20-inch stand. So that's the point of the board. Okay, I'm going in for a close-up. I'm going to show you some of the little, what we have is 15. Of, there's one of the... Uh, Where'd he go? There he is. Uh, one of the uh, sparkling grommies right there. Seems to be doing fine. There's another one right behind him under that wood. There's three in there. And I am absolutely amazed at how they swim around without thinking twice. Uh, nobody has picked on them. The biggest fish, is, well, the female betta, of course. But she hasn't bothered anybody. She seems pretty happy with the tank. I have... Uh, how many of those? Seven uh, or nine uh, silver tip tetras. Nine, I believe. I can't remember. It is, no, it is nine. Nine silver tip tetras. The uh, zebra danios down here are seven. There's seven of those in there. And along with the uh, female betta that seems to be doing fine. She's just taking over that plant. They could care less. They all like to swim at the surface. And so that plant is her home. And those pieces of wood, uh, which this one is lifted up off the ground, you can see there. She hides under there quite a bit or makes a little home or takes a nap or something. Anyway, that's that one. But, uh, th so <laughs> I was just reaffirming, there are nine uh, silver tip tetras in this tank. And they seem to be doing so much better. And the other 10 that they were in, which has been replaced, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, they were hiding mostly. And I, that just, I only seem to see one at a time. And uh, so in this tank, there's much more, as you can see, all kind of wood, structure, hiding places, plants. The uh, little rasboras. I think that's one right there. I think. Well, there's one over there. Anyway, there's three of those in there. They seem to be doing uh, quite nicely. And uh, same thing with the little sparkling grommies. I, I'm highly impressed. I just wanted to get them out of that other tank because I thought it was too small. And... Uh, I think it's fine for just the gobies because they really don't move much. I'm going to go back over here just for a second to show you what I'm talking about. This is the speed at which uh, these travel. Well, he didn't like the camera, so he sped up for a couple inches there. But normally, that's what they do. They just sit around. And, uh, I mean, the shrimp move faster than the gobies do. So, anyway, that's the two and a half. That's the uh, new... 20 high it is uh, uh, what is it uh, 24 inches wide uh, 16 inches high and 12 inches back or deep I'm loving this tank uh, oh I since the last video I did move this from one of my other the little better tank over there I'll show you that in a second uh, but I moved this piece of wood with the Nubius on it over here I thought it needed a little more room and I thought she needed a little more room Okay, we're going to whip over here real quick. We're not going to show too much because the only thing I put in here is that rock since you've seen it. But what fascinates me is look how these Anubius Nana roots somehow sense that rock. And look how far they've moved to come over here to attach to it. I mean, that's just fascinating to me. I mean, it really is. Look at that gorgeous male right there. As I've said before, everybody but her the only female she's practically laid all these babies uh, well there were other females but I'm just saying she's the only one still surviving of the original group everybody that you see in here everybody was born here except for her now this is this tank the Valsenaria doing well I've got the straight over here I want to say that's called a tie-in but I can't swear to it 
This is the spiralis. It's got a little curve to it, a little twist to the leaves, which I find very attractive. And we've got uh, uh, Lutea. All these are crypts, but they're different types of crypts. This is called a Lutea. It's got a little bit of a pointed, ruffled leaf. I'm really enjoying that. Okay, that's that tank. I am just thrilled with it. Okay, this used to be on the rack over there that we just showed you. Uh, this is the 15 high. It's actually a huge tank. It's got the footprint of a 10, which is 20 inches wide. But it is 18 inches high, which I just find terribly attractive. It's only 10 and a half inches deep. Uh, so it's kind of skinny from front to back, but look at the view. Anyway, I planted a valsinaria here when I went yesterday. I got that uh, valsinaria for the, the, the tall, grassy looking stuff here on the left. From the pet store, I put two and a half <laughs> in that two and a half. Oh, that was funny. And uh, I had a third one that simply would not fit over there, so I put it here. I'm really happy with that. This is an undulata. Darn it, uh, cryptocorn plant, but this specific one is called Undulata. I just am loving it there. All the fish are out. We've got several koi loaches in here, and 24 there. I just fed them a few minutes ago, so they're all out and about. 24 of the Prostella tetras right there. There's that tank. I am just thrilled with it. I really am. I moved that piece of wood around a little bit there. And uh, anyway, this is the uh, the nice <laughs> angelfish tank. Uh, where's the little guy? The little girl. Huh. She was there a minute ago when I was feeding. Anyway, this is the one. He's got the bent dorsal fin that was with the uh, other, that I bought him with the other angel that ended up being terribly mean and so I separated them and I fairly recently maybe it's been a month now that little girl in the back I don't know if you can see her through that hole I well there there she is through the hole in the back there she's in the back side uh I bought her one day I got a deal on her because she was the smallest in the tank and they let me have her for like half price and uh, I put her in here mainly because she looks like him, but small. There she is. And they've just gotten along beautifully ever since. So I'm just tickled pink with that combination. Nobody was doing any picking. So uh, they seem happy. I'm happy when they're happy, and that's how that works. Okay, I'm going to move over here quickly. There's the red and blue crown tail betta. His coloring is changing a little bit. His body is becoming a little lighter pink, if you will. Uh, he is just breathtaking to me. I think he's just gorgeous. You haven't seen him for a while. He's been napping the last few times, but this is breakfast time, so he's out and about. That's his tank. Sorry, I'm trying to hold that a little bit better. That's uh, Nubius Nana, or Petite, on the left here. And then bigger version over there. Okay, what we got in here? Uh, I don't see her. Oh, there she is at the top. That's the big girl. She is a big female, I tell you. A female betta. I've never seen one this big. I've had many a placat, male placat bettas, which look almost identical because they've got the shorter fins. But none of the males <laughs> have come close to her size. She is just a big girl. And she seems to be happy since I moved her from the uh, five-gallon tank, which I gave to somebody else, uh, to this tank, which is a 10 column. Anyway, that's her. You can see it's all cavy into there and a lot of swimming area, hiding area. Okay, we got the uh, white skirt tetra tank. You've seen them before. Nothing much has changed in here. That's their tank. And this, these last two pieces of wood, even though I switched the other one out for this one, are still producing a lot of tannic acid, but hopefully eventually that will change. 
Now, a new beta is in here, but I do not see it. There he is. Okay, right there. Look at his coloring. Look at it. He's a split tail or twin tail uh, half moon beta that's decided. There he is. Okay, look at his coloring, though. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful little fish. Got him uh, just recently, within the week, at uh, Pet Smart. He was only seven ninety nine. All their little cups that the bettas are in are color coordinated, so you just match the color with the price chart, and that'll tell you what they are before you buy them or choose. Anyway, he seems to be adapting quite well to this tank. There he is doing a handstand, trying to find some food. Headstand. Sorry. Anyway, he's a beauty. And finally, we just, he just swam out of your sight here. There he is. This is my newest and youngest. Uh, he is a veil tail beta at PetSmart. They are only $3.99 because the veil tail is kind of considered the original, if you will. Not really the original, but kind of the original, one of the original 10. Uh, here he comes. He's really gotten used to this little thing I built for him yesterday. I moved this piece of wood. This is spider wood upside down on the bottom of the tank here. And it's very hollow inside. It's very like a cup. But I turn it upside down so instead of the solid part being up, it's down. But then I took this piece of wood out of the other big, bigger tank over there and put it on top. And you can see her back there. I made like a cave. This goes up, the other one goes down, and it's like a serious cave. It's got all kind of holes. Well, because it's two different pieces of wood, but I'm trying to get you to see inside there. But anyway, she finally discovered that uh, she can go in there, and she seems quite thrilled about it. It's just two pieces of wood put together, but they're both kind of like, as I said, scooped out one way, and the other one scooped out the other way, which makes a nice little cave. Anyway, that's her two and a half. That's pretty much it. Uh, I was hoping he, I'm sorry, and his little boy, male tail boy, but he's very tiny. Now, I've said this before for those of you that criticize me for putting bettas in two and a halfs. Uh, it depends on what's in them. It depends on if, if it's just a glass box with uh, one plastic plant and a rock, then yes, they're going to be bored to tears, have nothing to look at, nothing to swim around, nothing to explore. Nothing to check out and or look around for food because it got in the crevices and things. He seems fine. But if he turns into a big... I've had some of these stay small. I've also had uh, some of them grow humongous. So if he becomes one of the humongous ones as he grows and as another place becomes available, I'm going to show you this little boy while he's swimming around. This is small too, actually, but he's in a ten. But yeah, eventually he'll move. This one will move to a bigger tank if uh, one becomes available. Okay, we're going to call it quits here. The uh, what we have here is uh, the seventy-five. It's got the big platinum. Uh, this is the newest angel back there. He's learned his place and he's doing quite well in the tank. Uh, the other one that was before it. Oh, there she is. Okay. This is the mean girl, the one in the middle there, and she was in the 10 gallon over here where the uh, betta, new betta is now, but uh, she just didn't want to seem to be getting along with anybody, but she started to grow, so I put her in here, and she's been getting along, uh, especially with the new guy, which is right next to her. He's the newest, the big one. Uh, they seem to get along beautifully. They've got the same color pattern, so maybe there's a connection there. Who knows? Anyway... Where's the, I've lost sight of the platinum girl. Oh, way in the back. Okay, we're going to call it quits. Thank you so much. I'm going to whip over here and end with this. Thanks again. This is Ogle's Fish Room. I do appreciate you watching. Thanks for everything. And I hope you have a great day. And I hope you're enjoying your tanks. Uh, this is a hobby that should be enjoyed. There's no right or wrong, well, there are some wrong ways to do things, but I think you've probably figured those out by now. If not, 
leave a message in the comment and I'll try to help as best as I can. You have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.